Hi guys, welcome back. I'm uh, just doing a bit of work on my box trailer today. I had it out uh, a couple of days ago and we uh, picked up a load of uh, road base, filled it up to the top of the sides there. So it was probably up around the maximum weight the trailer is meant to handle, possibly a little bit over. Um, took it out yesterday and I noticed that it was particularly rattly and uh, it's a rattly trailer anyway but uh, it sounded like it was having other problems so I'll just give you a look here the, the uh, tailgate makes a bit of noise and if you look down here at the, the uh, tow hitch you can see I get a bit of rattle in here but I've also got a fair bit of movement on the ball itself so I can't do much about this one but I, I can tighten up this adjustment here a little bit and uh, I also notice down on the wheels hang on a second I'll just uh, reposition the camera might be a bit hard for you to pick up on the camera but uh, I can feel a little bit of um, free play in the bearings if I wobble the wheel this way. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, check out the bearings. I might be able to adjust it out a little bit. And then uh, I'll check whether I need to put any more grease on the, on the bearings and things like that. So um, I'll also pick the wheel up off the ground and make sure they're um, still spinning properly and not, uh, not anything funny going on there. The actual springs look all right. I've had the springs pop out of uh, the channel before, and whether you can see it in this light, down in there, you can see the back of the leaf spring. Yeah, it's just down in about there. And I had one of those pop out of the, the channel there. The front end is uh, on a bolt, but uh, I've got no idea how that managed to come out of how that spring came out of there. I managed to prang it back in again without cutting my fingers off. And uh, anyway, I'll um, let's get a wheel off and see what we can find. Thought I might as well um, start with the tow ball because we know that's loose. I'll just loosen this nut on the top here, not very tight. And then if we tighten this screw, get the nut out of the way, it should clamp down on the on the top of the tow ball. Not exactly sure what the mechanism is in there, but it doesn't really matter. That's tightened right up. You don't want that. But let's just see. Still moving up in here, but it's not moving, not moving on the tow ball anymore. We'll give it a bit of free play. If you do this too tight, it can actually unscrew the tow ball. We don't want that to happen. That's about a oh, quarter of a turn. Just nip that up again. Wedge that in there. There's almost no play there now. I'll put some more more grease on the ball in a minute. And we'll just nip that one up a bit tighter. Don't want that coming undone while we're driving along. Now we're still going to get the noise from the from the square hitch there. Uh, no rattle in there anymore. Here's something you might not have seen before. It's uh, basically a 12 volt rattle gun. Um, 
a while back I featured a video showing you um, some techniques about how to get wheel studs off when they're too tight and uh, this little gadget runs on 12 volt it basically spins up and lets one impact go it's not like a, a compressed air one where you get multiple impacts probably don't need that extension uh, you got forward and reverse on here so you can do them up or undo them so if we just set it to undo there you go it's off there five of them off you'd normally just plug it into your cigarette lighter I could have spun them right off I suppose might be a bit quicker yeah, like Mrs Shed's home there's one more sneaky one Put a bit of grease on these because they're all a bit dry when I reassemble. Never hurts to have a bit of grease on your threads. Sounds a bit on the average side. I'll just knock that cap off there and have a look at the nut fixing the trailer what happened? I don't know yet that sounds a bit noisy and I can also cut there's a little bit of play there that shouldn't be there so I'll put some grease on it give the nut a bit of a tighten and go from there how was um yeah oh yeah that's all right I'll cut that bit out Nice and clean in there. A little bit gooey on there. That grease doesn't look too bad. Let's get a pair of pliers. Straighten out the split pin. It's not a cotter pin. That's not tight at all. If I can get it reasonably straight, I should be able to just tap it out. There we go. Now let's just see how much I can tighten that nut. Eh, not much maybe up to the next hole in the next notch in the in the nut I'm trying out a new lapel mic today I'm just wondering if I'm going to get a lot of rustly noises from it rubbing on my jacket only, only one hole in there so that if it has two holes it'll give us more choices on uh, where we can line the nut up 
one washer on the outside. I'll have to remember how these go. There's the first part of the bearing. Doesn't look razzed. And the hub will come off. It's all full of grease in there. Doesn't look destroyed and the grease still looks pretty good. I re changed the grease on these about probably six or seven years ago now and it still doesn't look too bad. So I might just whack some more in there. Crud the fall in there. I'm guessing if I want to get that one out, I need to pop out this oil seal on that slides on the axle up here. Might leave well enough alone there. Doesn't sound too crash hot. If I can find a, a code on these bearings, I'll order some more. China. That's a good start, isn't it? There's a number here. Let's just kick my nuts everywhere. See if you guys can see it. I haven't got my glasses on. How about I put them on? Without getting too much grease on them. See it says China up the top there. Down the bottom is a number. LM something. Yeah, I'll order that. Oh, I'd like an LM something bearing, please. I'll have a look under my magnifying glass and see if I can figure it out. You guys wait here. I've got some uh, Timken wheel bearing grease. It's good stuff. And I've just packed it back in to the bearing. So as much as in there as I can squeeze in. Don't want any crap hanging around. Here we go. But I will try and replace it. I could read the number. So that goes back in there. You still in shot there? Oh yeah. Let's get our washer. Stick some extra grease in there as well. It's the same either way up. Then the nut goes on. Where the hole is. Out there. So I'm not going to get around to the next hole. So there it is. I might just need to go and straighten my pin out a bit more. Yeah, that's nice and straight now. I can. Yeah, that's pretty straight. I'll be able to get that in. I'll put it in upside down.
Just got to bend that around enough so I can get the cap back on. And that goes back on there. Wrap your tap. tap. the shit out of it or you'll dent this all up around there and how many of those I've seen where they've had the crap hammered out of them sounds a bit better let's put a bit of Grease on all the studs, don't want them going together dry. Mud crap stuck on that. Perhaps my jack has sagged a bit. studs I'll just whiz those back on again Usual, you do them diagonal or opposites. If I give the wheel a spin, have a go at the outside edge. I reckon that's where the problem's coming from. I left it parked overnight with the heavy load of dirt in there, or road base. Uh, perhaps that's damaged these old tyres. Uh, they say you can tell from the serial number how old a tyre is. I'll have to see if I can look that up. They're good years, so I might have some hope of finding the serial number. I bet they're probably about 15 or 20 years old, so they're past their prime. I think if I'm gonna, gonna be sticking heavy loads in it, I need to replace these tires, because they're stuffed. I think it's lunchtime. Well, well guys, I reckon that's gonna be the answer to the problem. Um, I did double check the wheel nuts with a wheel brace and they were nice and tight. Um, I'll just uh, do the other side now, but, uh, oh. I'll let you know if the uh, if new tyres don't solve the problem, but uh, I think if I'm putting 700 kilos of road base in there and driving around with it at 100 kilometres an hour, I could probably stand new tyres. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Can't really see you. IndyCam. Try and hold that steady, Dave. There's Yana on the ground. Flash out hunting quail somewhere.